around back to school time, the type of content that comes out is just, just absolutely. And if you can't tell, me doing this is just hiding the crippling disappointment I have at the content that's out there. I'm not talking about the DIYs because some of them are really cool and some others like Trum Trum kind of questionable. I'm talking about the questionable type of content no matter who makes it. And of course you've guessed it from the title, sneaking food into the classroom DIYs. Channels from Troom Troom, 5 Minutes Crafts, and the huge channel like Sarah Beauty Corner have all done their own versions. So today, I want us to take a look at Sarah Beauty Corner's interpretation. And if you don't know who Sarah Beauty Corner is, let's, let's pull it up. And what you're going to get is a channel that has well over 9 million subscribers with views. Let me get the views. They're crazy. They can range up to 123 million views per one video. That, that, that's, that's a lot of views. Let's do some math. I say I like me some calculations. What I want to find out is how many people have internet. And the answer is 3.2 billion. Let's do some more math. 123 million people. That's the views divided by 3.2 billion. So that is about 3.8% of the world has seen this video. Quite a lot. So congratulations to Sarah Beauty Corner for having one heck of a ratio. This week's shoutouts go to KK Luna the Wikiwi and Sitin the Salvador. If you want a shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comments section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram anytime with any of your creations. That way you become one other grain in the salt shaker family. That's enough to lay it. Let's get to the content of disappointment. For those of you not aware of what's going on here, the idea is pretty simple. You are taking school supplies, putting food inside them in order to trick your teacher. More specifically, you want to drag candy into the classroom. Our school would be way more awesome if we could snack on yummy candy during classes. Unfortunately, teachers don't agree with this, so we have to trick them. All right, so first things first, school would be way more interesting if we had candy. And you know why teachers don't agree and why you feel the need to trick them? And that's because there's about 22 to 40 students in a classroom which means if all of the students are hyped up on sugar rush that's just gonna be impossible to teach it imagine all the kids bouncing off walls <laughs> Trum trum, trum trum, Sarah Beauty Corner, listen, listen to me two seconds, two seconds. Why are teachers portrayed as constantly having their feet on the desk? As a teacher, I've never put my feet on the desk. As a student, I've never seen my teacher put their feet on the desk. And as a colleague, I've never seen any of my colleagues put their feet on the desk. It's just not something that we do. That would be unprofessional. You, you, out. Leave it. Clown music. As a teacher, that's exactly how I feel right before I start a classroom. I, I like to play clown music in the car as I'm driving because I'm like, this is so inspirational and that's exactly how I feel. I, I want to go into the classroom knowing that I am fulfilling my duties as a teacher. You should see my playlist. Here's a list of the music I play on my way to class. This is, if you want to play it, that's that's entirely up to you. Let me know what's your favorite track. <gasps> One of my favorite things. Are you guys ready? Let's watch the montage. And I want you to pay particular attention to how many times can we get close-ups to food being shoved into someone's face. <laughs> Oh, 
know what? I'm pretty inspired. I want to make my own montage of, of things being shoved in, in, into my face. Sour gummy worms, yum! Is there anything better? Here's an easy way to sneak them in class. Take a few coloring pencils and glue them together using a glue gun or a super glue. You'll end up with a panel made out of pencils. It sort of reminds me of those wooden water wraps. Take a clean tin pencil case and fill it up with loads of delicious gummy worms or any other snack of your choice. To hide this goodness from your teacher, place the pencil cover on top. What an epic idea that allows us to have our favorite gummy snacks always on hand during class. When you That's what every adult who works long hours wants to see. I just bought a kid a whole colored pencil set in which they're going to glue the pieces together so that they can sneak food into the class. Food, by the way, that they should not be having. And food, by the way, that isn't really food. I mean, what's the rush into like making type 2 diabetes? Is what, what's the rush? Let's totally all waste materials that we got that's supposed to be for education. And not just pencils. Before I go anywhere, I have to say that Sarah looks absolutely adorable. That That's out there. But first and foremost, before the adorableness, because we are not here to give sweet compliments, we are here to rain down with some salt. <sighs> some of you might have guessed that that's water, and the answer is it's salted water. <laughs> Of course, if you're going to be holding candy up like this and chewing, your teacher is going to notice. They're not dummies. But of course, the ones that always show up in Trum Trum and Sarah Beauty Corner, pretty questionable. Get an empty and completely clean EOS container ready. Grab a pair of pliers and start clipping away the tiny sticks in the middle of the container. We got a larger empty space ready to be filled with the most delicious treat ever. You can use any rounded shaped chocolate or candy. I decided for the one called Raffaello. Push it inside the opening, screw the lid on and it's ready to go with you to school. White chocolate and coconut combination is so delicious. It is also white which is perfect because from the distance it looks exactly like a lip balm. Bingo! Alright, this DIY I have a few problems with. Firstly, it doesn't look like it fits right into the EOS. And another thing is they say take an empty and cleaned out EOS bottle which in itself, you have to clean it, you have to empty this, you have to waste the actual lip balm or, or melt it and put it into something else. I'm a craft channel too, let's make one. I caught an EOS thing, just don't, don't, ask, don't ask what this is because it, it was a DIY and I, I destroyed it. So we're going to be making our own <laughs> sneak your own snack and guess what, I actually went to the store and picked up exactly the brand that she mentioned in that video. You know how expensive this box is? This was $11. I was a kid getting their hand on this. Let's clean out the lip balm. Oh, I think I got something. I think I got me something, pops. There we go. That wasn't hard. Now we need to cut these. That is pretty simple. I'm gonna go wash it. All right, so here it is cleaned up as best as I could. And when I say as best as I could, I mean pretty pretty lazily. Let's take out a Raffaello, which I've had before. It's, it's pretty yummy. I feel like it's just gonna sink in and it's just gonna be a mess to eat. Well, look at here. It doesn't even sink in. I, I had a feeling because when they put it in in the video, right there, okay, you see right there? What happens is that as soon as they lay it on top, it just kind of sits at the surface and then the next scene, it looks way deeper inside. So this is what it looks like here, which means that the cap just won't close. Okay, I'm gonna try and get it as snug as possible. Dang it. We ruined it. I think this is good. Can we close it? Not yet. You're not even sneaking in a whole chocolate. You know what? Let's make it close. There! We got it to close! Let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's not too bad. And let's have a bite. Mmm. Minty. After you take a bite, this is pretty much what it's going to end up being on the inside. I, I give this a zero. Into the trash. 
I already showed you how to sneak one candy bell to school in a form of a bookmark. But what if we want to smuggle more than one of these treats to class? I have an idea. I absolutely love the fact that she says, what if you want to smuggle? Just you. <laughs> That's like the perfect word because you know you're not allowed to bring it, so you're smuggling it in. The idea behind this DIY is that we're cutting a rectangular piece out of a notebook and then putting a plastic sheet and then putting some candy ribbon. My issue with that is that we are actually going to be taking pieces out of there of candy. Your teacher can't be that blind that they don't see that that's candy. I mean, let's give it a try. All right, so here's my handy notebook and my candy. Let's, let's do this. Come on, man. This is hard. I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna cut this up. I really needed to focus so that I don't cut my fingers. This is quite the challenge. And you must really need your sugar rush to go through this. My good! And I'm gonna cut this with scissors. So we have our piece over here. Now we just need to tape it. Okay. Make sure you get a friend to help you with this. I'm gonna tape this and get back to you. It's as best as I could tape it. It's a little wonky. The tape is not holding in some places and probably holding in others. Okay. We're getting... Did I, I think I cut this too much. Let's, let's fill it up. I'm pretty convinced they used glue for this DIY because it's just not possible not having the candy topple on top of each other. This, my grains, is exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna get this tumblage. They most likely used glue gun just so that it looks aesthetically nice on camera. So I rate this DIY a trash. Just joking. I, I don't waste food, okay? I'm just put this away. In the trash! I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, now we need the skit, right? Right after the DIY, we need to see how well it can trick the teacher. Magnifying glass. My disappointment in this teacher is, is pretty agitating. Salty bread stick. Perfect when you crave something crispy and savory. Here's an insanely cool idea to sneak them in class. Grab a set of coloring pencils that come in a tube shape. Put the lid off and take the coloring pencils out. Now pick a few old and very short coloring pencils, apply some hot glue on the tip and stick them to the inside of the lid like this. It looks like it is full of coloring pencils. However, we know that there's actually plenty of space to store treats inside. You can literally put anything in there. Gummies, Smarties, Skittles. But as said, I'm going for the salty bread sticks. Pop as many as you can fit in the tube. I don't know about you guys, but pretzels are probably one of the most boring snacks ever. It's bread with, with salt. I like the salt part, but that's that's all it is. It's nothing exciting. The fact that that it says in the video, no more boring, no more boring and hungry hours in class. Because pretzels is just gonna break the boredom. It's just how. These scenes of eating things so close up is just so innuendo-y. It's just so innuendo -y. It's so there. It's there. I promise it's the close-ups. Silence! We are in school, kids! Do you guys know how nerve-wracking teaching is? It's 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 a pretty stressful job. To sleep on the job means that you, you're off commission. You're burnt out. This teacher has had so much sugar in her system. Look at look at the desk. It's just full of sweets all the time. Every time we make a video, this is what teachers are supposed to look like. Are you listening? Uh-huh. They gotta be dumb, because that's how you appeal to kids. Uh-huh. And they have to put their feet up to show that they really don't care about the kids because that, that's really going to relate with them. Uh huh. And you need to make them sleep during class hours because that's just going to intensify the fact that they don't care about the student. Uh huh. And another thing, you know, let, let's make them always hungry because that way we have more material to work with. They can steal things, almost like bullies. Uh huh. Definitely these characteristics remind me of my favorite class when I was getting my bachelor's degree for teaching. You know what class that was? Negligence 101. Who doesn't love the crispy and tasty goldfish? I certainly do, so let's muggle them to school. So the idea behind this DIY is that we're taking a container, putting a piece of paper, and then putting snacks in the middle whilst, you know, putting paper clips or, or push pins all the way around. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like this DIY gave up. 
Make a cylinder shape from a piece of paper and place it in the middle of the pot. Now take a bunch of paper clips and start drawing them inside the little opening between the edge of the container and the paper barrier. When there's plenty of paper clips all around the pot, you can go ahead and grab your favorite snack, simply pop them in the middle of the container and they're ready to sneak to school. All right, there's just so much food falling everywhere on the floor. Let's, let's get a montage of all the times they dropped food on the ground. And if it's appeared a couple of times throughout the video, you'll see it a couple of times in this montage. You know, anytime you have snacks, you want to drink, right? It's, it's like going to the theater. You have popcorn, you grab some soda. What about in school? What do you guys grab to drink? So our beauty corner, a refreshing drink is um, cola for school. Definitely need a refreshing drink in class as well. Take a piece of fabric and place it on a flat surface with the front facing down. Put the cola bottle on top and place a zipper on it as well. Grab a glue gun and apply a stripe of hot glue along one side of the zipper. While the glue is still hot, fold the fabric edge up and stick it to the zipper. Repeat the same step on the top side. Now take an elastic and tie the ends together as if you would be making a ponytail. Of course we need a refreshing drink of carbonated water, colorant and 13 spoons of sugar. It's mind-boggling who would go through with this. I, I would love to see one of my students do that. I'll just let them have it. Don't, don't even do the effort. Just bring the food to class. You don't, you don't have to spend all that time you could have been studying to sneak food into the class. Whenever you're getting tired and need a little sweet pick-me-up, just make a sip or two and you'll instantly feel refreshed and awake. So the message here is if you're tired, the best way to get refreshed is not play during recess or, you know, grab a good snack. It's grab your soda. Grab your soda. That's teaching kids a lot of trash. One more way to smuggle mini Oreos in class. Take a piece of long, slightly curved piece of wrapping or crafting paper like this one. Place a mini Oreo pot on top and start wrapping the paper around it. Stick a bunch of coloring pencils or other pens and stick them in our Oreo container. From teacher's perspective, this looks like a normal pencil pot, but you're able to snack on this goodness during lectures. All right, so here's another example of a DIY that is a I give up DIY, because if you look at it, it's an Oreo box with pencils. To the teacher who has the upper view, it's an Oreo box with pencils. It's, it's an I give up DIY. Oh, these candy drops really remind me of my childhood. I used to adore them and I still do. So here's an amazing way to sneak them to school. Open up a notebook and grab an X-Acto knife. You want to basically cut off the bottom part of all the pages in the notebook while leaving the front and back covers intact. That's, that's pretty much the scenario that goes through my mind when you waste half a whole notebook to bring in some pets. It's a... Uh, Pretty big kick in the face from kids to parents. I guess that's one way to get revenge for some reason. Remember how I said earlier that there's no rush to getting type 2 diabetes? This video disagrees with me. With this hack, you'll have them always on hand whenever your sugar level drops too much during class. How, how does one's sugar level drop too much during class? If your sugar goes down, that might not be a bad thing because then, then kids will be like, my sugar is pretty low, I, I definitely need more sugar in my veins. Time to wash it down with some cola. What do you mean if your sugar gets too low? That's not a bad thing. Dang it, video, no. I really wanna take this fruity, chewy candy to school, but how can we fit them in a box full of pencils? Darn pencils getting in the way of my candy. Throw that shiznat away. You, you want candy, not pencils. Education's overrated. Take all the coloring pencils out of the box. Now take a bunch of shorter coloring pencils and place them inside. This way we cover the opening on one side, but we still have plenty of free space on this side. Come on, little sweeties, inside the pencil box you go. So in essence, what is this video teaching us? That it is absolutely necessary to have sugar in our system to feel good. That is absolutely wrong on so many different levels. Here's another I give up DIY. I actually have all these materials. You guys want me to make it? I think you do. Take a pencil pot plus a little rectangular piece of thicker paper and slide it inside the pot like this. The paper divides the pot in two halves. We're gonna fill one with lots of pens and pencils. The other half will be way more exciting and sweet because that's where we're gonna put our delicious Skittles. So this DIY is pretty straightforward. We're taking a piece of cardboard, putting it right down the middle. There, adding some pens and pencils and whatnots. Now we're gonna add our sweets on that side. If you look at it this way, it looks pretty good. But considering the fact that your teacher still has the upper view because you're sitting on a desk, this is what they see. 
I, I give this DIY a 3 on 10. Remove the eraser from a pencil if it has one, otherwise just keep the step. This is where we're gonna put our meringue. Simply press it on the pencil. This is very easy to do since meringues are very fragile. Ta-da! It took like what, 5 seconds? This next DIY seems pretty innocent. What you're doing is you're pretty much taking some meringue and putting it on the top part of your pencil where the eraser normally would have. But then it's like you, you need to level it up. You can't just have sugar on your pencil. I take an empty non-toxic glue bottle and wash it super duper well. The bottle has to be really clean if you want to try this hack. All we gotta do is squeeze lots of chocolate sauce inside the glue bottle. This one is full so let's put the lid back on and it is sneaking class approved. Chocolate sauce. That's what we're resorting to now to bring to class. I'm pretty sure kids didn't know they needed syrup in the classroom until they watched this video and then they're like, what? I can bring syrup into the classroom? I need to sneak some in there in my glue bottle and drink it like some kind of psycho. <laughs> Now you know why. They are wasting their time ruining school supplies in order to sneak in sweets to class. These are the kinds of videos that are popping up during back to school. And they're kind of packaged like DIYs and pranks, but at the end of the day, they are there, they're being watched. This is this is what is being <laughs> recommended quite often. As you can see, it's better to leave the sweets outside the classroom, and if you're very hungry, opt for something healthy instead. Now, it's not all giggles, because Sarah does say, Remember, you need to have healthy snacks and, and don't sneak things into the classroom because that's not where they belong. It's at the end of the video, where nobody hangs out, where nobody's there. Time for my own version of this. Epic DIY on how to sneak class food. Hey friends, do you want to sneak in ramen into the classroom, but your teacher is not letting you because they're boring people? Because obviously they chose to have a degree in, in teaching, which makes them absolutely incompetent. Well, we have an amazing DIY to show you how to sneak your favorite ramen box into the classroom. Grab your favorite ramen, open the lid, remove the packets, glue them right at the bottom. Now you're going to take a few pencils, put them right on top. It's going to look like a pencil case. Your teacher will never know. What? Are you saying you don't have enough hot water? Add some water inside a glue bottle. Put it in the microwave, tell them that your glue just got a little too stiff. And now you can pour your water inside your ramen. That is such a clever DIY, your teacher will never suspect it. Because let, let's, let's be honest, your teachers are, again, they're not fun, they're not bright people, they're not smart. You can get away with this. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch a salty review, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch a crafting video, make sure you check down there. <laughs> Until then, I will see you in the next video. And if you have some other interesting DIY channels, mention them in the comment section below. See ya.